On today's episode, Dad makes funny noises. He wears a weird hat. Sorry, I'm wearing the hat for the weird inside, but quarantine, man. My quarantine cut needs another quarantine cut. And the kiddo has a wand. Who got this? Dad got this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Dad Got This. Today, we are making a recipe from my youth that my grandmother used to make pretty much just for me and my grandfather and her. We were the only ones in the house would eat it. Pasta aya uya. It's basically just spicy pasta with red pepper flakes and olive oil. It's an old school Italian dish and I loved it as a kid and they didn't give me the recipe and I've found one that was close and made my tweaks and I, I, I think this one's pretty darn close to what she used to make. It's a super simple recipe. The first thing you need to do though, is you gotta cut the garlic. And for cutting the garlic, we're gonna do this Goodfellas style. If uh, you know what I mean, uh, that means we're gonna slice them super thin into little thin slices. And that's what they did in the movie uh, Goodfellas, where they were cooking the pasta in the prison, where they would use a razor blade and he was thinly slicing the garlic for their pasta. And you kind of want to do the thin slice here because it gives you these nice little uh, wafer thin pieces that crisp up really nice when you cook them. You don't have to do it this way, but I just like to do it this way. The hardest part is to peel the garlic. There's all kinds of ways you can do this. I've seen people put them in a bowl and go, ka -da 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 -da, but it doesn't work for me. I don't know why, but you want, depending on how garlicky you like things, you guys know me by now, I like garlicky. So I'm gonna do probably, and that's three, four, like six or seven cloves of big ones of garlic. And I just pound them with the knife. And then that lets me be able to kind of get to the, the wrapper and pull the skin off. So you can use pre-minced garlic. I've done it in the past when I'm feeling quite lazy. If you do not like spicy food, this is not the dish for you. The amount of pepper that dad puts in his, you really need to like spicy food. Like I was saying, what we wanna do here for this is we wanna do super thin slices. And big chunks of garlic. You're not, you don't have to go to a mince, but you want, some, some good sized garlic that's gonna crisp up in the pan. And get them as thin as you can. Dad's not being super critical about this, but if you wanted to be real critical, I would go like super thin. But dad's in a hurry, so he's gonna do as close as he can get to thin quickly. Sorry, I'm wearing the hat for the weird inside, but quarantine, man. My quarantine cut needs another quarantine cut. It's getting bad. All right, super simple. We're gonna go ahead and turn our pan over to a medium heat. And you're gonna put in a half a cup of good olive oil. Extra virgin if you can get it, but good olive oil. And then you're gonna immediately put in your garlic. Add your garlic to a cold pan because it's going to give you control to be able to stop this and start the next stage right when it starts browning. Wonderfully browned garlic is great. Burnt garlic is terrible. And it goes from brown to burnt really quickly. The other thing that's kind of nice about um, adding the garlic early is it kind of steeps in that olive oil and it flavors the olive oil, because that's your sauce. This olive oil is your sauce for your pasta. Like I said, this is a, like a classic dish from dad's childhood. I was pretty much the one that would make my grandmother, my Nana, make this for me. I loved it. Whenever she wasn't throwing um, cans at me or chasing me down with a wooden spoon, she was cooking me awesome food and Man, I missed that. But thankfully, 
Learn my mom, pass down that skill to dad, and dad can make food. Dad's a pretty decent cook. And I am slowly but surely building up my repertoire of my childhood recipes. I've got my uh, mom and my nana Sunday sauce. That one I just did. That's the slow cooked uh, sausage and meatballs in the tomato sauce. Goes for five hours. I've got an Instant Pot version, but I just did the real version. Hi, kiddo. There's kiddo. Watch out, there's some hot oil here. Okay. Peace out. You got a wand. All right, now we're just watching this garlic. Peace out. We're just watching this garlic and we're gonna be super careful to catch it right before it goes to uh, past brown. We want a nice little crunchy garlic that's not burnt. And the way you achieve that is to not have your pan too hot and to watch it. We are getting close already. How's everybody else's quarantine going? Dad, dad's doing his best. I barely have left the house in almost two months and I'm going a little stir crazy. I talked to a five-year-old all day. That's my entire conversation until my wife gets home who doesn't want to do a lot of talking because she's been at the hospital all day. Uh-oh, sorry, pause on that. We are right about at the brown stage. Now is your point to add in your red pepper flakes. I add a tablespoon, it's hot as hell. You can add a teaspoon, but I add a tablespoon because I like mine hot as hell. And now you're gonna stir that in with the garlic that was just getting to brown. We're gonna let that go for a few seconds and you'll see how it changes the color of the oil as these red pepper flakes get in there. All right, got a half a pound of cooked pasta. Right in the pan. With the, we've got some lemon juice, tablespoon. Got two tablespoons of dried parsley. If you have fresh, use fresh. Unfortunately, this is the apocalypse and dad can't get fresh parsley. And stir, 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 stir. You wanna mix this sucker really well. Distribute all the garlic and red pepper flakes and seasoning. And at this point, you can turn the heat off. All right, we've turned the heat off and we're gonna do a little seasoning. Pinch of salt. Not that it really needs it, but a couple turns of some black pepper. They do have a different taste than the red pepper. So your pasta is done. Serve it with some Parmesan cheese and it's awesome. I'm gonna plate some up and try it and you can see dad react to it spicy. All right, grab a nice dollop of pasta. And dad tries to get some of the bits. I love those crunchy garlic pieces. They are the best. Some Parmesan cheese. Dad likes a lot. Pasta aglia uya. Or aioli, aiola, I don't know. My, I, I'm almost positive that my grandmother called it aglia uya. And this depends on how you pronounce it, but any way you pronounce it, it's delicious. Oh. Wow, Woo. breathe fire, man. But it's not super heavy because it's just oil and pasta. It's vegetarian, apparently. Very little things that dad eats are vegetarian. You could add shrimp or chicken to this and it'd be fantastic. But the traditional way to eat it, we just ate it pasta. The crunchy little bits of the garlic and the heat from the red pepper flakes. It's just great. This is one of my all-time favorite dishes. I have quite a few all-time favorite dishes, but this definitely makes the list. That's it for this episode of Dad Got This. Please make sure you like and subscribe and comment. Do all that kind of fun stuff for more recipes from Dad. Let me go see if the kiddo wants to say goodbye. 
Hey kiddo, you wanna say goodbye to the fans? Nah, she's okay. All right, you guys know, even when the kiddo doesn't wanna say goodbye, dad doesn't do outros, so that's it. For more fun and easy recipes, visit dadgotthis.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the damn bell. I double dog dare. Come on, you have to do it. It was a double dog dare. I mean, those are the rules.